Hey, it's Antoinette. I'm the voice behind the Midday Reset. And I know that this probably sounds really, really different for you because you're not used to hearing episodes that don't start with my music for my intro. Usually the first thing that I say to you is, welcome back to the Midday Reset. My name is Antoinette and today I'd like to talk about, and then I usually tell you what it is that I've got to get off my chest. This episode is different. The Midday Reset is different, just like so many other things have become so different for us in the year of 2020. So to just give some brief history, this podcast began in 2018, right as the summer was starting. I remember I released my first episode right before my family and I took our summer vacation. And I started it because I wanted to beat the stress that I was facing at my job. I was unfortunately involved in a situation where I wasn't seeing eye to eye with my manager. There had been a series of events that took me from being in a leadership position to a not leadership position, which there's a whole bunch of details behind that, but that's a whole separate episode. But the bottom line is I wasn't feeling good about myself. I didn't feel like I had enough good things to pour my energy into. And so I created this podcast in order to have that outlet for myself. And I centered it around the idea of helping people with stress and anxiety and depression like I have and giving them some tips for coping with that. Around the same time, I also had to face a challenge with my husband traveling for a few weeks while I was at home with our two kids and my full-time job and the responsibilities of keeping the household going while he was gone. I learned very quickly in that scenario that I had to break down my day and not try to tackle everything one whole staircase at a time, but just one step at a time. And so once I started picking up some of those tools and mastering them, I figured, I've got to share this with the rest of the world. And that's what I did when I created this podcast. It was centered all around mental health awareness and letting people know that they are not alone if they also suffer from anxiety and depression. And it's kind of funny because when I started the podcast, I was working a nine to five. I had a boss. I was dreaming of becoming an entrepreneur. Now in 2020, I am an entrepreneur and I have been for about 16 months now. It's crazy. Um, but my perspective is very different because I look at business differently and I look at mindset differently. And even though anxiety and depression are still things that I suffer from and that I am still challenged by, I do a little better with coping with them because I've been in the habit of using some of these coping mechanisms and strategies that I picked up all those years ago when I started with my journey with this. So what's important to understand right now is that the Midday Reset is definitely not going anywhere, but it's definitely getting a makeover at this time because I've sort of gotten a makeover too internally. Uh, My life is very different now from how it was when I started the show, and I still want to continue the show because anxiety and depression are things that I still suffer from and I still work very hard to manage. And as I learn these different ways to cope and I learn these different things about myself and the world, I still want to share that information with the people who enjoy listening to me. I'm very grateful for all of the listeners who continue to come back to the Midday Reset and support and give praise and the reviews that you write and the ways that you tell your friends about this show and what it's about. I really do appreciate that. And I think that what I want to do now as we move into a different phase with the Midday Reset podcast is start building some other things around the podcast that can really support a community because I know that there are other people out there and they have stories, they have tips, they have things that they've learned. They also have questions. They have things that they're stumped by that they'd love to be able to ask about. And I want to provide a space for that. So I'm working on that currently. And if you're somebody who is inclined towards that sort of a thing, if you're technically savvy, or if you just have knowledge of how those kinds of things work with regard to forums and chat groups and things like that, please, I encourage you to reach out to me. You can write to me at Antoinette at MiddayReset.com. I'd love to hear your thoughts about that. 
But moving forward, I do want to reassure you that I haven't gone anywhere. It's just that I've been distracted. I've been a little bit inundated. This year's been overwhelming and busy and fast paced. But I'm still here and I'm still working on ways to improve the midday reset so that it can continue to be a useful tool to the people who need it the most. So um, with that being said, my friends, I hope that you will all be well. Everyone take care. Please feel free to reach out to me at the email address that I shared earlier, Antoinette at MiddayReset.com. I love to hear from you. We're almost through 2020, and that in and of itself is a huge victory, so pat yourself on the back. Take care. I'll talk to you soon, and keep shining.